This video is about the Lutron RA2 system that we've installed in this building. This is inside the plant room, um, so this is where everything is hiding neatly out the way. So we've got here the top board is doing all the modules for the upstairs part of the extension. This bottom one here we've saved for stuff that is the garage downstairs and all the external lighting. So that's why there's still some spare ways in here and we've still got some cables that aren't yet connected. This is ready for the, the rear external lighting installation. Here you can see we've got two armoured cables coming in. They just come straight from the external lighting, straight in, no joints, straight into our control box and then we've connected them straight onto a Lutron module here. So uh, this big driver here is for some LED tape that we've got uh, routed into some uh, into an oak oak panel that's on the stairs. So we've got LED tape which is an up lighter and a down lighter for mood lighting inside the inside the entrance and stairs up to the up to the first floor. Just going to show you an example of how we can operate some of these modules using uh, your mobile using the mobile phone app. So here you can see. Um, the areas we've got. So we've got the top left, you've got kitchen and all the zones within that area, all the Pico switches and any light fittings that we've got in that area. Exterior, driveway lights, landscape lights, garage lights, yeah. left toilet, cinema room, you can see how many zones of lighting we've got in there. So we've got two keypads and then we've got three zones of lighting in the cinema room. Garage, you can see we've got an occupancy sensor there and the, the, which controls the main lights. Office is the landing, right toilet is the other toilet and then we've got the stairs. What we've got, uh, one pendant and then one switch for the stairs as well. So I'll show you now if we toggle down into lights. So this bottom one here is the switch for the garage lights. So if we go to garage lights, yeah, main lights. turn that off and that just clicked the relay just clicked off there as we did it on the relay clicks back on again so that means the lights downstairs are back on again now if you go to something that we've got the ability to dim we'll go cinema room low level lights you can see that we can switch them on we can switch them off and we can dim so low level lights at 44%. So we can choose whatever level we want the lights at using the dimmer controls on here. But that needs to be, you need to use the right modules. So we have switch modules and we've got dimmer modules. If it's non-dimmable lights, it has to go on a switch module. And if it's dimmable, you can use the dimmer relays to, to control and dim anything you like. The LED tape on the stairs, uh, we've used different modules for that. So we've got a huge driver here, as we've got quite long runs of tape. I think it was about eight meters ish in total, something like that. So you do need quite a substantial driver to power all that if you're just using one driver. So on the, the driver connections, we've got we have power in, um, and then we have power out, and then we have a dimmer cable as well for one to ten volt dimming so this is a special driver that is a 1 to 10 volt dimming driver yeah so then our unit has the ability to dim 1 to 10 volt uh, dimmable drivers so because this works at such a lower voltage you get a lot smoother dimming on something that works at uh, 12 volts or 12 volts or less um, and when you dim in very low wattages as well some of the light fittings around the building are uh, you know one two watts each so the range is it's got a better dimming range on something that's such a low wattage. Low level lights, so the lighting around the bottom of the room. You can dim them down to 47%. And then we've got 
the spotlights above. Take these down with the dimmer. Yeah. And then the wall lights. We can take these down too. And we've got these set on uh, scenes at the minute. So we've got a four push button Pico, which is a scene Pico. And what we can do when we come into the cinema room is we can just push all on or all off for when we leave. And then if we're gonna be entertaining, we can push entertain, or if we're gonna be watching a film, it's watching a, watching a film, or it's cleaning, or it's whatever it is. So we can just set four scenes, and all the lights will dim down to the right level for dependent on what we're doing in the room. So when we come in the room, we've got, I'll push that, all the lights come up. We push this button, all the lights will go off when we leave the room. And then all the, symbols here are for your uh, scenes so we can get these engraved with personalized words or pictures whatever you want uh, you want to say and you can have as many of these scene picos as you like in a room so if we push this one i'll just show you that again with the camera in the right place so all on and then we'll push Cinema. The main spots go off, the wall lights dim down, and the floor lights dim down as well to give us this dim lit room so we can watch film.